Hi guys, today I will give you very important information for the engine performance. You can probably increase the horsepower or at least the engine is going to work way better. Okay, by the time I'm speaking, I'm going to attach some pictures for 4 horsepower, 4.5, uh, 7.5, whatever I can find. Uh, the information is applied for different horsepower uh, motors you may find the parts in a different location and I'm sure we're going to understand and you can do uh, the right thing to at least to get your motor working a little better anyway so let's start with the white one this is a 15 horsepower uh, the blue one it's a 9.9 .9. ignore the fact the difference in the horses take a look guys take a look this a little cup over here it's a rubber cup that is located right under the idle speed okay and right over here in this motor it's missing there you go it's gone and here is the cup it's coming from different motor just for the show so this one used to be uh, here Maybe not this particular cup, but I'm talking, this is the part that's supposed to be there. So, why this is off the motor and this one is still here? Here's the simple answer. Someone, back in the time, realized that this motor have a problem with the breathing. And this motor never have that problem. I will attach picture in this video so you can see the picture is coming from a way different motor. Still 15 horsepower or 9.9 .9 doesn't matter. Right under the carburetor there is a hole. And the hole is located right somewhere here underneath. By the way here. Over here. So, the airflow for these motors, it is from here, here, take a look guys, and it goes under the carburetor, and it goes around, and then straight goes to the carburetor. When you have the motor in the bucket, and you do the, the tests, this type of motor have a problem of breathing and this one don't have that problem and the reason of this let me turn the motors around so you can see the reason of this there you go this is the, the 15 horsepower and this is the blue one take a look guys take a look this you have openings on the hoods so the engine is breathing from here. That motor don't have anything. Take a look. See, this is the difference in the engine hoods. Not only the sign, no the horsepower, this. If you transfer this hood from this engine, 15 horsepower, to this one, I guarantee you guys, this motor is going to work way better. You can't even imagine what kind of difference you're going to see. Not only in the bucket test, but on the boat too. This one, it doesn't need any modifications, any uh, cup removing, because it has a plenty of opening to get fresh air. Okay, so what can happen to this motor when you have this one removed? On a rainy day, some water can get inside. What can happen? Maybe not much, but in some cases you may have a misfiring, some water can go inside, especially if the motor is laying down, some water can go inside to the carburetor and to the engine, and then you can have other problems. 
what can you do guys first thing you already know you can remove this cap and you're gonna see the difference in the performance you can also modify the hood you can uh, drill a little hole like this one don't do any crazy openings just a little hole over here so you're going to simulate this one and this is gonna be the safest way if you if you get a little hole on a rainy day the water is gonna come out and will not go straight inside the engine and you can still use it safe on lake or you can store it it doesn't matter because it's gonna be under the cover for some other engines like 4 horsepower 4.5 how I mentioned it I will have some pictures and you're gonna see the difference in the hoods too uh, same thing for 6, 7.5 for some other 8 horsepowers I will look I hope so, I have some pictures so I can show you guys but this one it's the early version so I, I forgot to mention this one this is the early version this is probably I will guess 76 I'm not sure I know this motors this one this particular one it's 81 1981 so they realize for breathing problem of these engines and they modified the hood with better breathing options so now you know guys you can simply increase the horsepower of the engine by only doing this modification by for the older ones by removing this one or just making a hole over here you can also swap the hoods and you're going to see the difference also i hope this information is valuable for you guys i hope we understand how to uh, do some repairs on outboard motors please check my other videos i'm talking about carburetors i'm talking also about the fuel pumps and some other stuff uh, i hope this information is valuable for you and you can do your repairs or you can maintain your motor uh, easily and this is going to help you thank you for watching my videos i wish good luck to all of you bye bye